Hi everybody, my name is Heratoga and welcome back to our survival season of Vintage Story. We got some blacksmithing to do today, so we're going to be making an iron anvil. It's a bit of a tedious task, but uh, it must be done if we want that suit of armour uh, and if we want to go caving properly. Because uh, we can't go too deep into the cave systems without a suit of armour, so let's get on with it. Right, it's currently half past four and it looks like it's going to get dark. So uh, we're going to be working through the night here, well, that's okay. Um, I've got the roof done now, so that's uh, all finished now. So now uh, in the near future we can uh, together work on the inside of the house, uh, which will be fantastic. So uh, can't wait to move into that place. Right, let's get on down to the blacksmith here. Got uh, a gale wind today, which is great. The stronger the wind, the more power we have. <laughs> Let me just quickly check on this flax, make sure it's still alive. Yes, good. Stage three out of nine. Yeah, we'll have another windmill soon. All right, let's get in there. Right, I'm going to plonk the lantern down here, just to give us a bit more light. And I've brought the anvil back upstairs here. Now you can forge iron on a tin bronze anvil, uh, but unfortunately you can't forge meteoric iron on a tin bronze anvil, which is why we need an iron anvil. <laughs> and that's our job uh, today. I managed to process the rest of the iron blooms that we had in the, uh, in the if I press the right key, in the iron chest there. So we've got no more, we've got no more meteoric iron. We've got one little piece there. So, yeah. So we're going to need tongs. And we're going to need our hammer. And a bunch of iron ingots. We've got plenty of iron ingots here to make this anvil. And the little bit of borax that we had, uh, I just, I've just ground it down into powder because we're going to need that to make the iron anvil. And you can't cast an iron anvil, you have to forge it. And it's in two parts. So uh, let's get on with it, shall we? Those on there, we'll just heat one uh, set up for now and, uh, and just wait. Alright, we're heating up nicely here, uh, 900 degrees Celsius. When these are fully hot, then I'll spark this one up. Um, we'll see. I love how the colours change when you heat up these uh, ingots. Okay, that's at full temperature now, so if I make sure I've got a bit more coal on here. I'll heat up this one. Okay, so if I could just grab one and I put it on here. We need to look for the anvil pieces. There they are, up here. Okay, so we've got to make a base and a top. Now I'm going to make the base first because that's more uh, tricky to do. So if we get the hammer out, as you can see, we've got a lot of... Yeah, let's just move that coal over a bit. So let's grab a couple more of these. Get the hammer out, okay. Put another one on. Bring some of this down. We should have enough durability on our hammer to do this. So I'm just going to pull down the top two layers here.
Okay, now I haven't done this too many times. Uh, like I mentioned before, I've got a server and I've only made one of these once. But uh, I'll try and do it the, the most efficient way as I know. So, I want to... Because this bottom piece here, if I sit on the floor, it's kind of like a plate. So I want to fill out all this bottom layer first. And... And then work from there, so... If you hear any noise in the background folks, my neighbours are in their garden and they're sawing, they're hammering, uh, and they're doing something. So I apologise if you hear any of that kind of noise. <laughs> getting there. Now you can sit on the floor and just check. Like I say I'm not an expert at making these but uh, we'll do it the best we can. As you can see, it's starting to cool down. You can just pick up this whole piece and reheat it on the forge and then place it back down on your anvil and carry on. Okay, so we've done that side. Yeah, we've done the whole bottom now. So let's sit on the floor and see what we've got left here. We've got a couple of rows uh, there. Maybe we can pull them back down to this side. And fill in those bits like that. There we go. So we've got we've got a gap there, and we've got a gap there. So let's um let's pull one of these down here. Plunk it down there, and there we go. Do the same with this one. Yeah, I, anvils like this will probably be the biggest thing that you can forge. <laughs> okay, so what do we got left here? Uh, we've got a few more pieces there. Let's just bring them over here, out of the way. There we go. Now, how we're looking? We just grab this ingot. Plunk it on here, like that. <laughs> Just stick it on. Okay. Let's just make sure this isn't going to run out of fuel because we're going to need these uh, pieces soon. We've got plenty of coal. But all you experts out there watching this are going, no, don't do it like that. <laughs> it's all fun. So that grid that you can see, um, you can change uh, the colour of that, I think and how bright it is as well. See now it's, it's getting difficult to see the pieces on the top isn't it but that's why it's good to just sit on the floor and have a good look. 
Well, we're nearly finished it, so let's try and uh, use these bits here that we've got. Can we shove them up there? So we need one more over there, like that. And, yeah. Just pack. Okay. Let's get these over here, like that. Shut that up there. Bring that over. Now let's bring it over the other side. There we go. Like that. Okay. One more ingot. I'm going to slap this on the top. Plonk. Just like that. <laughs> That's going to give us enough material to, to get this base finished. Well, I can't pull those bits down, is it? Because it's too cold. It's too cold, isn't it? Let's pick it up. Let's put it on there. And heat it up. Alright, there we go. Back up to temperature. Slap it on. And carry on. Hey, that rhymes. Slap it on and carry on. I'm owning it. Yeah, we've we've also got a new family of wolves that live uh, at the back of our house. So. <laughs> to keep our, our uh, eyes out on those little buggers. So I've got something else to show you uh, after this, folks. Uh, in the blacksmith here downstairs. Right, so we finished the base. So now we can cut away all these extra pieces that we don't need. Like this. And there we go, we've done the base. Didn't really take that long. So let's put that in our inventory there. And we'll grab one of these, slap it on here. We're now going to make the top, which is a lot easier to make than the base. So let's get a hammer out. Yeah. Right, let's grab another one, slap it on and uh, carry on <laughs> I know I'm gonna need to heat up some more ingots I'm gonna do that uh, in a second I just don't want to uh, heat up too many how's a hammer looking yeah so we're gonna have enough Okay, so how many do you think we're going to need? We've got one more ingot there. I think we're going to need a couple more, aren't we? Let's just grab a couple more. Hmm. Let's pick that one up and then put these two on there. There we go. All right. Now we could finish this pointy bit here, just just to get this uh, this end out of the way. Yeah, it's all flat there, so we've got all this to play with. It's a bit tricky to see the pieces, but that's all part of the fun. Where did it go? There it is. <laughs> now we could. Yeah, it's not going to let us pull these down and separate from the blocks that it's stuck to, so just going to have to keep doing it like this. Okay, two more pieces. Grab these. Okay, we've got any more? We've got four more bits up there, and there's four squares here, so let's bring all these over.
two more bits. Let's just get these. Okay, now we've got these little uh, sections here, so we need a cube for that bit, and then four more for the corners. Um, let's just move one up first. It is tricky to see. Okay, we've filled in the corners. Let's sit on the floor here and see what we've got going. So we've got some bits there. Yeah, maybe we should just pull those bits to the front as well. Uh, in fact, let's do this corner here first. Pull two pieces down. And we'll fill in this corner. Like that. We've got one more bit there. There we go. Now that should be flat almost. Well that's because we've got a corner piece there but uh, tell you what let's put it down here there we go now it's flat. Let's grab let's just slap this ingot on there hopefully it's hot enough yeah Okay, we've done this side. That's good. Let's uh, let's get this bit done here. Okay. Man, it's it's difficult to see sometimes. But we're doing it. We're doing it. Okay. Okay, we may as well pull these bits down here just so it's nice and flat on the top. There we go. Oh, there's three bits there. I think... Oh, two bits. Are they meant to be there? Let's just check. Yeah, they're meant to be there. Okay, we'll put that back. <laughs> uh, oh. I think we've got enough ingots. We can't waste any material, so we need these bits. Let's just push them all the way up there to the back. It's a shame it didn't happen the other way around. Um, it's wearing down the hammer. Let's try and fill in this section here now. this down. I think our hammer just might survive this. It looks like we're going to have to heat up this piece to carry on because it's cooling down. We're at 787 degrees Celsius. We're going to need another ingot, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to need another one. Okay. Plump you on there. We're going to pick you up. 
I'm gonna reheat you. Did I put coal in there? I did put coal in there, okay. Well, now I do have another anvil to make after this, but I'm not going to do it on camera, because you can see how uh, tedious it is. <laughs> so we're going to own an iron anvil, and we're going to own a meteoric iron anvil as well. So it's good to have two iron anvils. One for up here, and one for downstairs for the health hammers. That's heated up. And while that's heating up, we'll carry on with this. on it. Didn't have enough coal. Yeah, I'm thinking I can shave the top of this off just to fill out these bits. Then when I slap the last one on, it should fill it all out again. Yeah, let's uh, let's give that a try. Okay, that should be it. Let's plonk this on. There we go. And there we go, that's the top. Now we just need to cut away all this material that we don't need, which is quite a lot. There we go, nice. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do is heat up these halves because there's one final stage that has to be uh, done here. So we'll heat those up. Okay, now we can pick this up. I'm going to pick up my lantern, I'm going to slap this on there. I'll put my lantern down, I don't know, let's just stick it there. There we go. I need more, I need another lantern here. Okay, so, while they're heating up, we're going to grab our borax. Uh, here, like so. Put the rest of the coal back. There we go. Eat some pie. <laughs> just like that. Oh, our hammer has 80 durability left, so it did survive. Okay, so here we go. Right, the base. Plonk that on the floor. Put the borax on top. Grab the top. Plonk the top on. Get the hammer out and give it a good whack. And there we go, hey, we've got an iron anvil, yes, and it needs to go, Ooh. let's plonk it right here, there we go, 
should be here really, but it's okay. <laughs> now your old anvils, I think you can use a hammer and chisel and chisel them in your inventory and get some of the materials back, but I'm going to keep them. Yeah, I think we should keep them. Maybe we can store them somewhere, probably over here. Don't need these tongs. Let's just stick those back up there. Yeah, let's put these over here. There we go. And then we can pick this up, plonk it on there. And then this plate, which is on my stool, I'll just plonk that on there. There we go. All right. Sweet. So let's go downstairs and we'll go to the Hellhammer room. Now, when the wind is a gale or storm, because we only have one windmill but two Hellhammers, the gale strength will give us enough power to run two hammers. And that's how I got the iron blooms processed uh, last night. I was able to run two health hammers on one windmill. Uh, 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 oh, speaking of storm, uh, the wind keeps changing. Uh, it just said storm as I was talking about it. But yeah, between gale and storm, with one windmill, it should give you enough power to run two health hammers. Now I know one of you folks said um, I can run two health hammers from one side. Uh, but if I do that, that means I've got to change how these sit here. I'll have to put one of them facing this way. And that's going to that's gonna kind of block, block my entrance here. I'll have to step in this side and walk all the way around and go around this side every time I want to use the forges. So, yeah, on my server... I do have it set up like this, but I've got like four windmills, so I think we'll, we'll just keep it like this. It should be fine. We're going to have another windmill soon anyway, so even if it's even if the wind speed is a less strength than, than Gale, having two windmills will make up for that power. Um, it would be a rate, it would be a rate, but uh, I value all your comments, folks, I really do. You keep them coming in. <laughs> like I say, this is your world too, so if there's anything you really think I should be doing, you let me know, and uh, we'll get it done. We're going to build this world together. So, I've divided some of this meteoric iron into two piles, either side of this forge here. And that's how much we need to make a full set of meteoric plate mail armor. So this is all for the chains that we need to make the chain mail set. And then to turn that chain mail set into plate mail, that's what this pile is, is here is for. It's for the plates. So you're going to need 40 ingots for the chains and 30 uh, for the plates and you also need a body leather jerkin and a leg leather jerkin to start off the chainmail set um, so if we go and uh, check on our leather in the, in the crafty box I had to take all the leather hides out because in this uh, new version of the game leather hides now are perishable so I've had to go into the barrel room. I'm processing some leather right now. Yep, there's some in there and there's some in there. Well, I've had to make a little cellar, okay, just to store the uh, the, the, the the hides that we have in this little vase here, because uh, it makes them last a lot longer if you store perishable items in a cellar. So. Uh, they're being stored down here now uh, until I can get them all processed. They never used to be perishable, but uh, it is more realistic, I suppose. So yeah, I'm processing uh, 
all this leather. We've, we have a body leather jerkin. We just need the leg leather jerkin uh, to go with it, and I don't think we have any leather right now. Yeah, because I used it all to make the body leather jerkin. So if I go and type in leg, leg leather jerkin, yeah. We need eight pieces of leather, and we'll have that soon. And then we'll be able to start making our uh, our set of armor. Uh, but now that we have the iron anvil, to be able to process these meteoric iron ingots, we needed an iron anvil, and we have one now, so we can put it on here. Uh, wait till we've got strong wind like we have now. And we can start turning these ingots into plates, and then turn the plates into chains, because that's the, the quickest way to do it, so. Alrighty folks, we got that anvil smithed up, and that uh, iron anvil is going to serve us well. Now, we've got a lot more stuff to blacksmith. Um... It's, it's going to be in three parts. We've done part one, which was making the anvil. And like I say, off screen, I've got a second anvil to smith up. But part two is going to be uh, making a fresh set of tools out of meteoric iron. And I, I, f I feel I'm going to make a, a set of iron tools as well, just to complement our collection of tools. Um, they'll keep us going for a long while. And then part three of our blacksmithing is going to be making our suit of armour. And I can't wait to own that suit of armour. Maybe if I get enough iron, I can forge a second suit of armour just made of iron. That'll be cool. Um, but yeah, part 1, 2 and 3 of blacksmithing. We've done part 1 today, which is Monday. And I feel you folks deserve a special treat, so... Parts 2 and 3, I'm going to publish on Tuesday and Wednesday. So, part 1 is today, Monday. So, uh, keep your eyes peeled out for tomorrow, Tuesday. And I'll publish part 2. And then I'll publish part three on Wednesday. And then next Monday we're going to go caving. Ugh, I've been on about it for so long. Uh, but yes, stay tuned. And if you want to get notified when my episodes come out, then uh, go ahead and uh, hit that bell notification icon. Well, I suppose I better leave it there. So uh, if you've enjoyed our adventure so far, then be sure to like, share, comment and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section and I'll be sure to answer them. Until tomorrow, Tuesday, part two. <laughs> I'll see you then. Goodbye.